Hello, this is a selection of autumn flowers and leaves um, that I've put into kit form. Uh, they do come um, flat for you to roll up and create uh, the flowers with. Um, but I thought that I would share something with you today because I'd normally decorate a wreath with them. Um, but as it's um, sort of harvest time, fall, autumn, uh, even um, Halloween, Thanksgiving, um, I thought I'd look at this, this wooden pumpkin and see what I could do with that. Now, I have given some teasers. I've put it on social media and I've placed the flowers along the bottom. I'm going to try something a little bit different today uh, and show you how I play around with it till I decide to put them in place. But first of all, I'm going to talk to you about the pieces. So this leaf is part of a set um, that you will have seen before. However, the large oak leaf and the maple leaf are new today. Um, the large rose that I've got uh, or the largest that I've got at the moment, definitely seen before. As you have the the navy and coral, uh, I'm, I call these uh, water lilies. I've got to give these flowers a name um, just so that as I'm talking about them, I'm talking about the right things. And if you question me about them in a message, then I know exactly which flower um, it is that you'd like information on. This one is new. It's my dahlia. Um, and uh, I've not used it before, so here goes. So starting off with the 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 wooden the wooden blank, um, I'm looking today at probably doing a design that goes over the top left hand side of the pumpkin and then the bottom right hand side, just to see really where we where we head with it. So first of all, taking taking this um, this large large leaf about there. Um, to that I think um, I will add the rose followed by the dahlia there um, and then I've got the the navy water lily and a coral water lily. It's always harder when you've not got glue just to try and work out the look of it so that it doesn't look like there's loads of gaps. Obviously, you can make sure that the gaps um, uh, are a little bit less obvious once you start gluing them in place and you, you move them. But that's sort of something I was looking at. But I think I need to have that a bit higher. So I'm now going to work backwards and I'm going to start... At the top there, then add the, the flowers, but I'm going to need to just position this this leaf underneath a little bit. So I'll pop that there, and then possibly my rose. And this is where you start to see that it gets a bit fiddly and it does work better when you've got two hands but i'm holding my phone with one of my hands today to do that so i'm now on to the the bottom section and so i'm thinking possibly starting that about about there again having the the rows and again sometimes i turn them round a bit until i decide the best the best way that I want to present the flower and sorry I keep shaking and you can't see it um, I'm then going to add the the dahlia there I think and I'm going to put the navy um, water lily next to it then of course I've got the chrysanthemum that I did I only had one of those because that can act as a central piece and then I'm gonna pop the bit there and then probably just position this here um, and, and that pretty much is probably how I'm going to do this now um, 
it's it's a tricky one but i think i like it i think i like splitting the flower set across two parts i'd be interested very much to hear what you think too